Whether you're scrolling through Instagram or Facebook, watching the news, or just TikTok videos, you're consuming information. But not all of it is true. Misinformation has real life impacts. Everyone everywhere can be impacted and can have an impact by sharing false information. We're talking whether you have millions of followers or just a few. I'm talking about like my mom. <laughs> okay. And so the things that we're doing online in our own bubbles with our friends, like this stuff carries over into the real world. So Heaven Taylor Wynn from MediaWise, a digital literacy project of the Pointer Institute, is helping us learn how to fact check for ourselves. And she says the first step is to figure out who's behind the information. But then what might be their motivations for sharing this information that's potentially false? What do they have to gain from it? What do they stand to lose? Start by Googling the source you're getting your info from. Check what organizations they're affiliated with. But when you're on social media, an easy way to do that is to check their bio. Another thing you can do is to look them up on Wikipedia just to get some broad strokes about who they are and then go to the bottom and check the footnotes for the primary sources, right? You want to get your news from a trusted source, and that goes for social media posts, too, even when it's just a meme. The next step, what's the evidence? That's just exactly what it sounds like. Are there photos, videos? primary sources, people who were there at the event. But remember that photos can be tampered with. So if it doesn't seem right, then check it yourself. We like to tell people to do reverse image searches and you can use Google reverse image search. If you take the image and you plug it into the search engine and the results will return all the places online where it exists. Remember this photo of a shark swimming on the freeway? Yeah, it makes viral rounds pretty much every time there's a big storm and it's being posted again with Hurricane Laura. But a reverse image search shows that pic has already been debunked. Or other times we'll see places where it existed years before, whereas in the context that it was presented to you, it's made to look like it happened, let's say, a week ago. Like this photo that was shared saying McDonald's was on fire during the protests in Minneapolis was actually from a 2016 Greece fire in Pennsylvania. And the final way to fact check, what do other sources say? This for me is, I think, the easiest question to answer simply because there are so many ways to get information now. I know my main thing is if I see some big news happening, I'm just gonna go to Twitter really quick and see like, okay, is this trending or are people talking about it? If it's big news, a simple Google search should show lots of reports, but also look locally. I would just recommend that folks find a few reporters locally in their area. Find some people who are covering things that you care about. Because between an election year, a global pandemic, and nationwide protests, you don't want to be responsible for sharing fake news. Fact-checking for yourself is on the top of the list.